OK. Well, one of the things I've been studying for many years are what I call fundamental principles of personal growth. It's been, it's been one of my privileges in getting lots and lots of feedback from people through my website about what growth experiences they've been having and what struggles they've been having as well. And over a period of years, I began to see really strange patterns happen. Like I'd write an article about improving fi your finances, and somebody would send me feedback and say, that was a really great article. It really helped me with this relationship problem I was having. And I thought, that's kind of strange. And then I'd write an article about health, and somebody would tell me how much it helped them in business. And I thought, what? What's going on here? And as I followed up with these people, what I found is that they were getting something else out of those articles than, I was that I than what I was sharing. They were seeing something else that they needed to grow in a different area of their lives. And that got me really curious. And so I started asking the question, well, what is that? What was that more general principle? Because then if I could figure out what the more general principle was, I could write articles that could help people not just with their health, but with their finances and their relationships and, and career development, spiritual development, all across the board. So I began this quest that took me about two and a half years to figure out what these fundamentals were. And I eventually got it down just to three simple things. And once I figured this out, then everything else in the self-development field made sense to me in a whole new light. And the, the great thing is that each, each principle can be summarized as just a single word. So I'll, sh I'll share with you just the three words that you can basically reduce any form of self-development work to, OK? So here's what it looks like. I, just, I like to draw it in a triangle structure. So our three words are truth. And this marker is a little dead there. Let me switch. And love. This one's even worse. <laughs> love. Let me try this last one. And power. There we go. Truth is basically a form of growth where you're trying to get new information, new knowledge. Okay? Now, all these are valid paths of growth. You've certainly seen situations where you got some new piece of information, and that was the, the trigger. It flipped a switch in your mind, and you thought, ah, this is what I needed. Especially in business or in health, you, you, know, you come up with some new idea. You, you encounter something you hadn't seen before. You try it out. You see, ah, this works. New, a new distinction. Okay? Many speakers here are speaking about truth. They're telling you some new, thing, some new idea, some new way of looking at reality, some new perspective you hadn't considered before. And this can unlock a tremendous amount of growth. You can actually create some amazing growth experiences just by applying this one principle. For instance, if you're suffering financially and you decide, let me just take a look at what my financial situation is. Let me look at what, how much in debt I am and let me look at the information I've been avoiding even looking at. And let me read some books on finances and you know, books on getting out of debt. And you, you put together a process based on this knowledge that you've gathered and boom, you're off and running towards a greater level of financial abundance. Okay? Power. Power is all about taking action. And this is not power over other people. It's not control over other people. It's self-power. It's you being able to create the, the reality that you desire. You being cre creating the lifestyle that you wish to experience. Okay, many speakers here also talk about power. Now, the most overlooked principle of personal growth that I see again and again and again, especially in the self-development workshop environment, is love. And so that's what I'm going to focus on, this talk. So because this is a rather different principle than most people are used to applying, it may take a little while to get, this into, to get into this mindset of thinking in terms of this principle. So let me first explain what it is. The principle of love basically says that if you develop a better relationship with your environment, including all the people in it, the, the places you connect with, essentially everything you see in your reality, okay, that we can think of as a relationship. What relationship do you have to life itself? If you can actually improve that, everything else will get easier. In other words, all other forms of growth will get easier. Okay, suppose you're an athlete, and you want to go out and become a sports star. And you have parents that just don't respect that line of development. And they try to talk you into doing something else, like becoming an, a, a lawyer or an accountant. That is going to slow you down. Okay, a lack of social support in your environment will slow down your growth to a crawl in many cases, sometimes just stopping it completely. If, however, 
you have a really supportive environment. Suppose your parents are saying, yes, we support you in this, this line of development. We want you to be that sports star you want to be. And they're buying you sports equipment. And they're hiring coaches for you. And they're helping you out with your training. And they're, they're just giving you lots of rah-rah support. Whatever you need, they say, we're behind you, 100%. And they introduce you to other people that can help you. Do you think you might grow a little faster on that path? Do you think you might achieve your goal a little more easily? Of course. What we often overlook, though, is that we can actually consciously correct problems here. We can, we can make deliberate changes in our environment. We can change the people we associate with. Okay? This conference coming together, it's par the information that's being shared is partly about truth and power, because you'll get people pushing you, you know, do this, do this, go up and make approaches. And you hear stories about how people push themselves in the, in the power realm. One we don't tend to cover as much is this idea of love about how we can transform our relationship to life itself and that that will smooth out everything else. So if, if you find that the message of push, push, push yourself, more courage, go up and talk to that person even though you're afraid, if you find that that's just falling a little bit flat for you and you've, you have a lot of inner resistance to going that route and you just can't quite get yourself going there, then you might find that this principle is, is more to your liking and that you can actually unlock some really powerful growth experiences by applying this one and actually backing off of this side. Backing off of the truth, you not, don't necessarily need more information, don't necessarily need to push yourself to take action more. But if you can make some tweaks to your relationship to your environment, that alone can fix the problems that you're having over here. It can make action much easier. Okay, for example, if you're in a really playful mood, you'll find you can get away with all, saying all kinds of things. You know, if you have a lot of social support when you're hanging out with friends and they're, they're encouraging you, you'll find that it's a lot easier to take action than when you go out on your own, no social support whatsoever. Make sense? Okay. So this, this principle here was one that I kind of stumbled upon when I started see seeking out people who were having really fast breakthrough growth experiences. What did they change? Yes, there were a lot of people that were pushing on the truth and the power buttons. But I found that the, the overall pattern for the people that grew the fastest, they were definitely applying this principle of love to some degree or another. They were making changes to their environment to create a more supportive atmosphere for whatever change they, they were going for. And the ones who pushed mainly on this side of the triangle, just more action and more information, they almost always got stuck and they stagnated. Or they just felt, you know, I have more potential here. I could go beyond this level and I'm just not quite getting there. And they, they kept thinking, do I have to push myself more? Do I have to learn more information? You know, more workshops, more, more, more of that side of the triangle. And if they would just make a few tweaks over here, all this other stuff would get easier. Okay, so does that sound kind of enticing to explore this side over here? Yeah? yeah? Okay, good. Thank you.